six. I can't replace thousands and thousands of dollars like that, and this is the second time it's happened. A water main break and then water rushing into homes. Tonight, people along one Youngstown Street are cleaning up flood damage. Good evening, I'm Dave Sess. And I'm Alexis Walters. Some people woke up to their basements underwater looking like this and their belongings all ruined. It happened earlier this morning along Pinehurst Avenue. First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti talked to neighbors who say this isn't the first time that they've had to clean up from something like this. Mike McKeevy was one of the first to discover it when he got up around four this morning. Started downstairs for the shower and found that the floor was soaking wet with about six inches of water. Within minutes, his home on Pinehurst had a couple feet of water in the basement. Before long, four of his neighbors awoke to the same problem. I was like right away something didn't smell right, so I flipped the basement light on and my everything, I bet there's water up to my waist. We saw the washing machine floating in the house, looking downstairs. In all of the basements, clothing and other debris was floating in the water, while furnaces, hot water tanks, and electrical outlets and cords were all submerged. Just around the corner on Market Street, a 12-inch water line had broken, sending mud and debris into the storm sewers on Pinehurst, plugging them and backing into the basements. The same thing happened to us, same neighbors, uh, last year. And so we had to go through everything and get everything replaced. While neighbors were told to file reports of the flooding and damage with the city, some tell me they went through this last year. If I went down there once, I went down there five or six times, they did nothing to help us, nothing. I just can't afford to do it all again. I just can't afford to replace all of those appliances again this year. By afternoon, the water had drained away, leaving stains on the walls where it had been. Neighbors facing a huge mess to clean up, wondering how to pay for it all and how to keep it from happening again. We don't know. Give us some answers. That's what we want. Give us some answers. Let us know definitely what's going on. In Youngstown, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.